What's up everybody, this is your man JT Mason33 coming to you with another video. Uh this time it's Elite Dangerous. Uh this is my first time playing this type of games when it comes to outer space and um to ships and stuff. Uh I mean of course the last time I played a game like this it was when I was 11 or 12 and that was uh, Star Fox 64 and then recently I want to say like about a year ago or two I played Starlink which is basically Star Fox on the Nintendo Switch but this time I want to try something different unfortunately uh, I came to find out that the makers of this game uh, will no longer they will no longer uh, update the game when it comes to consoles so yeah that's that's pretty devastating if you ask me but other than that I'm still gonna go for it I'm sure there's other games gamers around uh, apparently it has 400 billion star systems that you can actually go check out uh, I'm pretty excited so it's a slow starting game so yeah, let's check it out. Let's go. Welcome to Morton Dock. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Okay. Oh shit. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frameshift drive use. This sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Okay. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head of display. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. Select auto launch to begin. Okay. Oh shit. The beauty of auto launch is that you can relax and enjoy the view. One of the ways that technology allows us to appreciate the good things in life. Other applicants are departing for their own evaluations, but this isn't a race. Each of the coming stages can be completed at your own pace. Okay. Oh, the sound is amazing. Holy crap, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Remarkable, isn't it? Yep. For so long, humanity gazed up at the stars in wonder. We're not distracted by one of Earth's many wars. Ah, here we are. Your first task is to demonstrate basic ship movements. A ship's trajectory is primarily controlled by pitch, yaw, and roll. Perform each of these now. Review your current objective and complete the required action to continue. Oh, now okay. Now your throttle to accelerate forwards. Okay. As before, push the throttle in the opposite direction to cease moving. Inputs confirmed. Looks like you've got the hang of individual controls. Let's see if you can put them all together. Your next task. 
task is to guide your ship through a series of checkpoints. Head towards the course, following the target's indicator. The course weaves through an orbital structure and is designed for the novice pilot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so the con the the controllers feel pretty nice. Okay. Good. Most external modules are installed on hard points, including weapons. Control is back with you. The beacon is relatively small, so you'll need to position yourself close to it. All right. A little bit, hey, not, not, not too much. This is insane. <laughs> okay. Scan. The data link scanner is a versatile tool that connects with network interfaces and various data points. Okay. You need to move to another area of this star system to continue your assessment pilot. Rather than travel for the next year using your thrusters, you can employ the ship's frame shift drive to increase your speed by a few orders of magnitude. Mm -hmm. First, ensure that the ship is correctly secured. Your landing gear, cargo scoop, and hard points must all be retracted. Okay. When you're ready, throttle up and engage Super Cruise. Drive charging. Oh shit. Ready to engage. Okay. Am I supposed to be facing the target? Okay, that's the yeah, right, 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 right there. Without entering Super Cruise, this assessment is going to take a rather long time. Okay. And through the super cruise, boom. What the fuck? Okay, let's try again. Okay. And then. Oh, 
how does this work though? Am I supposed to like just go really fast? Oh shit. How do I slow down or what? So the closer you get to a planet, it starts pulling you in. Oh, fuck! The frameship drive is disengaged. Welcome to the combat zone. Before you start shooting, however, try analyzing the megaship with a data link scanner. Alright, I remember, I remember. It was that and then... Triangle? Cannot comply. Okay, then I square again. Circle. X. Oh, it's R2. Of course it's R2. Of course. <laughs> Jesus. Oh shit. Uh, okay, R1 and square. Thrusters are particularly useful for navigating at which point it will need to recharge.
te voy a decir. What the fuck? That's the one. Come on. Oh. Ah. You gotta put the stuff away. You gotta put the. You gotta put everything away, man. Hey. You gotta be clean before you do this, man. Okay. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Boom. Let's charge it up. Charge it. Charge it up. Charge it. Charge it up. It's charging. Charge it up, it's charging. Charge it up, it's mm -ch -mm -ch charge it up, it's mm -ch -mm -ch charge it up, it's mm -ch three, two, one, engaging night speed. This is future commander JT Mason flying at the speed of sound and light and all that good shit. Oh shit! A la verga. A la the task of leaping between star systems appear trivial. Never let the simplicity distract from the marvel humanity has achieved. Your next stop is Quillo Station. This time we'll employ the Supercruise Assist module to guide your approach. Open the external interface panel to your left and select the navigation tab. Okay. Supercruise assist. 
The what? You can super cruise assist, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Select super cruise assist. Exit the panel with O. Okay. With the destination selected, throttle up and aim towards your target. The compass to the left of the sensor display will help you orient yourself. Yo, that looks amazing. I can't believe I never got to play this. Guys, I, I recommend this. This is... This is pretty dope. permissions what is that I guess I'm about to get there Yo, I feel like I'm gonna crash.
Okay, L1. If you're having issues locating the request docking command, never mind. You got it. Docking assist has been engaged. You've been assigned landing pad 3. The compass will point towards your designated pad. Ships need to be within 7.5 kilometers of a starport for a docking request to be considered. Oh. I think that's by holding the square. I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> In a moment, the sensor display will switch to the precision approach display, which helps you accurately set belly down on the landing pad. Docking procedure complete. Engaging pad restraints. Get your ship ready. Congratulations, Commander. Your evaluation has been successful, and a license is being assigned to you as I speak. Oh shit! Enter the hangar to exit this evaluation. Select the enter hangar to complete. Alright, we gotta enter the hangar. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Commander J.T. Mason. 33, of course. Let's not forget the 33. There you go, Commander J.T. Mason, 33. That's, hey, that's all right. I'm not planning on changing it anytime soon. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. Select body type. I'm a male, of course. I'm a man. All right, let's continue. You know what? Let's just stick with planetary operations right here. Okay. 
Hey, so I want to kit it out for surface operations with the A2 ton cargo hold, which means it's like 200 stuff. All right, I guess. Vehicle bay equipped with an SRV in a planetary approach suite. Okay. I mean, I don't know what that means, but shit, I'm down. Oh, ship name. Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh crap, okay. The ship name. What's the name of ship? You know what? This is the Giz Boy 1. Giz for Gizmo, my poodle, and boy for my pit bull. So it's gonna be called Giz Boy 1. That's, yeah, yeah, that's a sick name. All capitals, baby. All capitals. Giz Boy One. The ship plate. Ah, oh, come on, man! Don't do this to me. All right. The ship plate is gonna. It's gotta. It's gotta be something like. Uh, Jeez, what 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 can my ship ID plate be? It's gotta be something sick. The number thirty three has to be in it because I mean this is you know. Oh oh no okay all right let's go back. This is the Giz Boy thirty three, all right. And the ship plate. My girl's beat my girl's birthday. That's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah. No, you know what? JT 1994, ship name the Giz Boy 33. <laughs> yes, son. Oh, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Like, I can't change my face or anything like that? Come on, dog. It's all good. So, there's going to have to be an episode two for this. There has to be an episode two for this, all right? So, that's what I'm going to do. I'll be making an episode two this weekend coming out. I know if everything goes well. And I will. Before launching for the first time, allow me to quickly introduce the basic interface for mission contracts. Almost all pilots will use the mission board at some stage. A contract has been assigned to you. Active missions are displayed in the transactions tab of the external interface panel. This time you'll need to travel to Morse and Dock in the drone system. You can select these destinations on the navigation screen of the external interface panel. If you'd like to practice your journey first, I recommend the training simulations accessed via the internal interface panel. Okay. To review what we've discussed, select your comms panel and scroll through the recorded text. I'll contact you at Morse.
awesome doc if you decide to complete this mission. If you choose to take a different path, then I wish you luck, Commander. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The first episode of Elite Dangerous with JT Mason 33, Commander JT Mason 33 via the Gist Boy 33. All right? Like, subscribe, share with your friends, whatever you want to do, I don't care. I can't wait to make a second episode about this. This was awesome. And this was this was this was just the basic. This was just the basic learning of it. And I'm excited as hell. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it at this. I appreciate you guys watching my video. Shout out to uh Mercer, shout out to Mario Chavaria, shout out to Jose Navarro, shout out to anybody and everyone that's uh, been supporting me. I want to thank all 27 subscribers, uh, whether you see my videos or didn't follow or still follow, I don't give a fuck. I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. All right. And I'll see you this weekend. You know what? I'm not even going to say this weekend. Sometime this week for the second episode and you guys are going to join me. You guys will be joining me and possibly some, possibly some friends who will be going through this experience with me. So yeah, thank you so much. Have yourself a blessed day. You know, Jesus is King and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.